Guys, I need to talk to you lot on a serious level. Please describe Hakim Ziyech. Just describe him in the comments. Just For me, he's just perfect. A perfectionist. That left foot, the technique, the accuracy, the delivery. For me, delivery wise, better than De Bruyne. Better than Bruno Fernandes. Arsenal fans talking about Williams better than Hakim Ziyech. What are you guys smoking? What are you not smoking, man? I want some of that, seriously. But trust me, look, I know we didn't get a clean sheet, but 4-1 against Sheffield United. Last season, we would have bottled the lead. I'm telling you this now. We have come a very, very long way. And the future, as a Chelsea fan, is bright. Okay, it's really bright. I could, I could sit here and speak with Hakim Ziyech for 10 minutes. That's how perfect he was today. I wish you got a goal. I wish you, I really wish you got a goal. But he could have set up a lot more, man. Six chances created in this game, okay? And I'm talking about serious good chances. Thiago Silva coming very strong as well, man. We're going to get into all that, of course. What's going on, guys? Well, we're watching us back again with another video for you guys. Now, this is your review straight after the game. Chelsea won 4 1 against Sheffield United. We are now in third place with 15 points. Obviously, Liverpool can go ahead, back up top again, and go four points ahead. But right now, we are one point behind them. Southampton in the lead, of course on goal difference but yeah if you guys can smash that like well let's get at least 300 likes on this video the more likes the more helps on this channel subscribe if you're new here hit the notification tune in daily and comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the game i'm a bit disappointed that it's international break i'm very hurt it's international break this always happens to us okay we go on special form we go on i don't know how to describe it we just go on top form okay and then we either get injuries or we get international break or both happen at the same time and trust me, it's very depressing to see this happen. Simply because Hakim Ziyech is coming. Trust me, I told you lot, my brother is a Tottenham fan. He's telling me from Dutch League, he's nothing. Okay, he'll get owned in this league. I've watched him all these games he's played so far. I'm serious. I am so happy we signed him on the right side as a left footed player. He might not be as fast as Robin, okay. But on the ball, man. I told you lot, forward thinking, forward passing, even if you're on a tight spot, he'll give you that ball. Even when he was giving the coverage and coverage was losing, he was still giving him the ball there. No sideways passing, no backwards passing. This is serious football. We're changing a lot. We're changing a lot. We still need to learn a bit more, but we are getting there. Okay, Hakim Ziyech scoring, Ben Chilwell, Thiago Silva, all these guys scoring. Tammy Abraham. Tammy Abraham has done really, really well in Chelsea blue colours this season. Okay, I can pull up the stats right now, but I want to keep most of these stats for tomorrow's video in the talking points where we talk, look at it properly in terms of what they created and what does it mean for the future of Chelsea Football Club because it's very exciting as a Chelsea fan right now. But Hakim Ziyech, I'm telling you, when you got the free kick for Thiago Silva, the flashback came straight from uh, the Chelsea draw uh, when we played him last season when he took it and then he stood in front of the camera like, you know what I mean, like that one. I was hoping he banged it in the top top left corner again. I'm not going to lie to you, I wish he banged it in. But look, Tego Silva running in like it's John Terry against Napoli. Okay, Maybe not exactly the same, exactly the same, but close enough, if you know what I mean. He, like the guy just literally ran onto it, bang, it's a straight header. I want to see that from all our players in the future. But as I said, very, very good performance. Uh, the lineup, no no questions about it, really. Realistically, uh, the back line we expected, the midfield was either Kovacic or Jorginho. Um, but I felt Kovacic done really, really well. He was getting abused in the first half. Well, he made that one run. That one run was the difference from Hakim Ziyech. And then Tammy Abraham kind of miss, miss hit it, but he still went in, which was the most important thing. Um, but yeah, their, their striker basically, Sheffield United, that striker turned into Ronaldo. I don't know why. Every time he plays against Chelsea, he suddenly performs. And that was the worry at this time but Giroud got a few minutes towards the end as well which was very very important um, I don't know what's going to happen to him in January whether he's going to be staying at Chelsea or not but yeah he only got about what five six minutes which was a bit frustrating I wish he got a bit more he could have got a goal at least but it is what it is but Hakim Ziyech man look even Thiago Silva and Timo Werner man like these, these pictures it's just good vibes, man. That's what I want to see. Like, I want to read some of the comments as well from everyone. Oh, there's a there's a crazy stats. Uh, CFC underscore Raf. No way. Chelsea defenders have more league goals ten than Arsenal football club nine. No way. Are you kidding me? 
Yo, Raph, that is crazy. Oh my days, that is crazy. But look, honestly, 10 out of 10 uh, from Chelsea Football Club today. Obviously, just a clean sheet. We turn off in the first half. Um, but other than that, like, no problems, no issues. There was no panic attack. There was no worries at all or anything, if you know what I mean. So, Hakim Ziyech, man. I don't know. Ben Chill getting in as well. He, this guy could have had two goals today. Okay, We're getting... Better at defence and we get better offensively. It's just getting better and better, man. But I really wish I was doing a live stream right now, but I could. I have to do this video very quickly and then head off. But as I said, I might do a live stream tomorrow to talk about the main talking points from the game. But very, very good performances. Um, you know, even Reece James putting in those balls. Like he, him, and Hakim Ziyech on the right side were just attacking, 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 attacking. Hakim Ziyech was looking for Ben Chilwell so much in the first half. He was trying to give those balls away, but we weren't making it. And then eventually, Ben Chilwell read the play, of course, and finally hit in. And that's what we need to see from I told you guys, even with Tagliafico and Hakim Ziyech last season, that is something that we wanted to see. The right side pinging it towards the top left, diagonal balls running in from behind. Now, even... I think it was Reese James that crossed it in once and Tammy Abraham tried to back heel it, miss kicked it and it came to Ben Chilwell. These are the chances that we want to see our left back get into and also being able to track back and defend. Now I feel like Kante done really really well today as well in terms of breaking up the play. I saw players around the midfield losing the ball but Kante was able to track back, intercept, break up the play and get that ball back. He even tried to attack a lot more. I saw Kovacic pressing a lot. I don't know if it suits him personally. Um, even though he got the first goal, it's something that we need to look at, you know, throughout the next couple games, of course. But international break, unfortunately, we have big games coming up, including Tottenham, which I'm looking forward to. You know, um, I think Tottenham, if they win, they can go either top or second place or something. So we need to make sure we get a win against them very, very soon, especially Jose Mourinho in his second year. That's one that we need to look out for. But in terms of the first goal that we conceded, I don't know who to blame, like Kovacic was at the front post and then kind of gave you know, the player to move away. But Kante, maybe should have let Ziyech uh, come to the first guy before running to the guy, if you know what I mean. Because then when Kante came to Ziyech's opposition player, it was just open for the guy to hit it from the side. And then, you know, it was a very good goal, don't get me wrong. In terms of the way Sheffield United scored, there was no dodgy about it, there was no deflections, there was nothing like that. It was very, very good. Mendy couldn't do nothing as well. He thought he was going to go, you know, his right side, but he actually went left. And, you know, that's clean sheets done uh, right there. We wanted another clean sheet, but unfortunately, sometimes it doesn't happen. We've got the most important thing, though. 4-1 sounds very good. We're scoring three, four goals per game. It's just getting better and better as a Chelsea fan. Um, United won today as well. Uh, does that mean Oli at the wheel? Does he stay? Do you not want him to stay? I wanted a draw, personally. But Everton, I think they've lost three in a row now. Everton have lost three in a row. What does it mean about this Premier League? Like one time you guys are saying Everton might challenge for the title or be top four, and now we're saying them go down like Jay Sean, and now we're seeing Southampton go up. You know Southampton got smacked up last season against Leicester. Look where they've come. They've come a very very long way. The Premier League is the best league in the world, man. We're gonna see many ups and downs from clubs, but I feel like if Man City get a result against Liverpool, like a draw or a win at least. That will open up many, many things. And I feel like Chelsea could take advantage. I feel now I've seen the team come back from a 1-0 uh, deficit to win 4-1. Last season, we couldn't do that. We couldn't do that. We either bottled against Sheffield United 2-0 or we lost 3-0 straight up when we couldn't come back. Now I've seen us come back. Um, a lot more confidence in this team to be scoring goals and, of course, changing the result. Uh, throughout the game, we conceded very early, which is the most important thing as well. We didn't get see towards the end or anything and make it a dodgy, difficult ending, but we managed to come back straight into the game. Now, Timo Werner looked a bit tired, in my opinion. I felt like he had to come off a lot earlier. Of course, Frank Lampard spoke about he wanted to rest him for the Burnley game, but Pulisic got injured and he had to play. So, Karl Hudson Doy again, I don't know what's going to happen to this guy. We will talk about him in tomorrow's video. There's a lot of things to be stats wise and what we took away from the game. Of course, but look, most important thing, 4-1, evening, Saturday, perfect. We move on to Sunday, see the other results. If you guys can, smash that like button, get me at least 300 likes, subscribe if you're new here, hit the notification, help me get to 20k as well. Comment down below your man the match and why, most likely going to be Hakim Ziyech, but I really, really want to know why. So if you guys can, let me know. And you look like the background as well, yeah. Hopefully you look like it, and you look like it goes, man. 10 minute game, I'm out.